A new cult seems to be making the rounds, and many intrepid YouTube skeptics have risen to the challenge of exposing their flim flam and folly. Many of my subscribers may be surprised to learn that I was a critic of a certain cult before it was cool. I was, in fact, rather excited when a group known as Anonymous decided to marshal their forces and assail the forces of trickery and mind control. From my years on the peripheries of this legendary internet war, I believe I have learned a few things including effective battle techniques on the field of ideas. Here are two. Accept or reject as you see fit. 1. Use their own word and simply link people to cult materials produced by the cult. This leaves far less work for you. Instead of claiming this group believes X, you are simply quoting we believe X. And linking to where people can find the information. Whether your presentation is serious or mocking, you are far less likely to be harassed or accused of slander. Further, most of the work is done for you. Lastly, if the beliefs or practices are sully, dangerous or stupid, there is no need to elaborate. If the shoe fits. 2. The second technique is to avoid naming specific cults, but give people the tools to spot them. This means teaching about things like mind control techniques. The student is acquiring all the tools, so if the shoe fits, the student is equipped to see it. Second, you are avoiding lawsuits, harassment and censorship. An example of a mind control technique is isolating the cult members from outside sources like friends and family. This may take the form of telling people to disconnect those who are holding back their spiritual development, lying about critics, scheduling intensive study courses so the member is always in the company of fellow cultists rather than around people who are more likely to question. Another form this often takes as an attitude of us and them. A high control group is likely to present themselves as the wise caring benevolent people and the rest of the world as dangerous, deceptive, scary and cruel. You may have heard the phrase, in the world but not of it. Such phrases are often used to dissociate people from normal activities and association and to get them into a church or Bible study. If a group does not allow a member free association, that member, once given the right tools, is then able to better discern whether he or she has been sucked into a cult. Of course, controlling one's associations is not the only technique a cult will use, but it is one example of one tool that can be added to someone's toolbox. So onward and upward, my comrades in arms. Keep fighting the good fight no matter where the battle lies, and hopefully we can help some people avoid drinking the Kool-Aid. Godspeed.